Hey, free birds. How y'all doing today? It's your girl, Miss Free to You. And you may or may not have seen my last video. If you didn't, I will do my best to put the link um, in the description box below. Please make sure y'all catch the last video that I did. It's called Shop Your Closet Holiday Office Party Edition, okay? Showing you how you can put styles together and not spend any money and you shop your own damn closet. I mean, why go out and buy a new wardrobe every time you have an event to go to? If you have the money, do you. For me, my pockets don't go that deep and my money don't go that far. So I have to be frugal. And I have to make sure that, you know, I could do what's in my means. What's in my means right now, if I have an office party to go to or any type of an event for the new year or whatever, pop that ass in that closet and fix something out that damn closet. <laughs> Anyhow, so today was one of those kind of Sunday, Saturdays. It's Saturday, sorry. Today is Saturday. Now, y'all might see this on Sunday, but today's Saturday. So anyway, first things first, I put together this drink. And if you didn't see my last video again, here goes. So I put... Um, this home, what is it? Homemaker? That's what it says. Yeah. Homemaker Premium Guava and Pineapple. I got this from Walmart. It was like a dollar eighty-eight or something like that. Dollar eighty-nine. Part of that, part regular orange juice and peach syrup. And you see, I'm gonna just stop playing and go ahead and pour this drop in there. And no sense of holding on to this drop. And it's delicious, y'all. Because what I like about it is the orange juice and the pineapple juice. It really takes uh, over the alcohol taste. Like I like for my drinks to taste like it has alcohol in it, but very light. I don't like it to be overpowered with alcohol because I feel like it's when it is, you can't really enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? And this is perfect. So if you're that kind of girl like me, you prefer a sweetie, a sweet drink, and it's not overpowered by alcohol or not too much alcohol, this is your drink. And you can make it at home. So I'm just coming today. I know it ain't talk shit Tuesday or talk shit Thursday, but we gonna go ahead and talk a little bit of shit on Saturday. Why not? So, I um, am coming to you guys today with this movie. Um, it's a triple feature. I got it from Walmart. It has Friday, Minister Society, and Set It Off. And if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, which my Instagram is a vlog with Miss Free to You or vlog with Miss Free to You. And you probably seen I posted the picture saying, hey, me and Tommy and my baby's going to spend on Saturday. And I just love to watch me a good classic movie. So we ended up watching Minister Society and set it off. But we didn't watch the Friday yet. My son, my oldest son went to a birthday party, so he's not here. And my other three children are here. So they're watching Let It Shine right now. But when this, that goes off, we're going to get this Friday popping because I feel like laughing tonight. So the reason for this video, I ain't going to keep y'all too long. A few of my, um, excuse me, uh... One of my subbies, I'm going to say. Yeah. One of my subbies and another young lady that's on YouTube that I'm actually um, not subscribed to. Um, but I did hear through the grapevine. Put it like this. I'm not going to go too far into detail. But what I will say. Now, I understand that a lot of people come on here to vent. A lot of people have an audience. Um, you got some people that they have an audience and the audience likes to see drama. So, you know, you're going through it with your significant other. They right there watching that shit. But if you put up a video about a haul or whatever, they you get a couple of views on that. Or if, um you know, whatever type of drama you might have going on in your life, if you choose to upload it, oh, yeah, you're going to get some viewers. Now, everybody ain't your friend, okay? Understand that. Everybody is not your friend. Not everybody has good intentions. Not everybody means well. And a few people that I've noticed... They have a successful channel. Awesome. That's what's up. Because listen, I listen. I ain't the one to sit here and tell you, go after your coins. Do what you got to do to get your money at the end of the day. However, if you see where what you're putting on YouTube is starting to not only get you haters, because you're going to get haters regardless. You know, I get trolls and shit that come and bother me. I cuss them right the hell out and keep it moving and get them off my thing. But at the same time, you know, yeah, you're going to you're going to get those haters and those troll people and all that nonsense. But it's a different kind of hate when a bitch... Okay, I'm from Jersey. Child Protective Services, we call them diapers, okay? And I had seen one young lady on here. She had a video, and somebody fucking called diapers on her. Again, I'm from Jersey, so we call her diapers, but diapers is known as Child Protective Services in New Jersey. Everybody else knows them as Child Protective Services. My thing about that is, no judging. I'm just saying... Me personally, if a bitch was to come for me because they think that I'm not doing right by my kids 
Or if, if I was married or had a boyfriend and I, you know, upload things about what go on between my husband, maybe, or I upload when we have an argument or whatever, and a bitch see that and come for my man, that would make me do one or two things. The first thing I would do is I would stop putting any fucking thing that has to do with my personal life, that has to do with my kids, my husband, my mom. I don't give a fuck what it is. Shit, if I have to lose some subscribers because my channel would then be the driest motherfucking channel out there, then that's what I would do. But what you're not going to do is come for me or come for my kid. You can come for me all the fuck you want. I'm going to decide if I want to entertain your ass and come back harder. But at the same time, depending on what it is, but when you start coming for my kids, like I, I just cannot fathom. And the first thing I said if a bitch went up there and called, in my opinion, called diapers on you, that was a motherfucker that not only probably been following your ass for a long time, it's probably one of the motherfuckers in your notification game. So that's why I said you can't trust everybody. Now, me personally, I think I have the awesomest, most best subscribers in the world, and I do. But not everybody has good intentions, and not everybody thinks like my subscribers do. You know, they keep it real with me, they tell me what's up. I'm not saying that anybody else's subscribers doesn't. I'm just saying. When you have a square and a circle, you got to get rid of that motherfucking square. And you one thing about YouTube that I personally hate, I feel like if a motherfucker is, um, I feel like if a person, if it's somebody thumbs it up, like on like on Facebook, if somebody thumbs up your videos on Facebook, your YouTube, your Facebook content, whatever it is, it shows you who liked it. If they, and then you know, now they got the thing where they show you if it's laughing, if it's sad, whatever. It shows you. I feel like YouTube should be the same way. I'm dead serious because, like I said, you end up having, you know, this one hater and you can't do shit about it. And that's so fucked up because you sit up here putting up videos and you think, oh, my fucking peoples is the bomb. My subscribers is this and this and that. Come to find out you got one or more than one kicking your back all the way in. And that's messed up, you know. And I was like, I think I feel like YouTube should do that. Like, they should. Fuck it. We all grown. You know what I'm saying? You thumbs and down, motherfucker shit. <laughs> you fuck it. I mean, I, it should not be a secret. I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't. I guess I need to know, but I think it would be nice to know. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, if you you know calling diapers and stuff on people, like who does that? Like, and I got a story time for you guys this week coming up about that subject. We'll, we'll get into it then. But um, yeah, I just wanted to. It was just on my heart. Like I said, I don't have any ill intentions. I ain't got. No beef with nobody. I know people on YouTube have had beef with people. You know, there's some people I've unsubscribed to over the time, over my little YouTube journey this year. Hell yeah. You know, but I ain't got no beef with them because they probably unsubscribed to my ass first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's whatever it is. It really ain't that deep, but with me personally. But when you come for my children, when you personally come and attack me and my character based off of a couple of videos that you sat down and watched, you know, like I told told y'all before again about the old dude that came for me. Yeah, you know, I said his ass straight and kept it moving. But damn, for you to come and call diapers on somebody, for you like I've seen a girl post videos several times about people coming for her man, and I'm like, baby, do what you want now. I get it. You you know, do what you want. You post what you feel people want to see. I get it. But when you start coming for my family, bitch, my channel will probably be one of the driest motherfucking channels alive. The minute a bitch come for me like that. Because I just cannot fathom why somebody would be so heartless to come. You know what I'm saying? For somebody's kids. Who does that? But people do it every day. And you just got to be mindful. And you got to be careful. So my advice to the new people out there. Or even the people who have been doing this shit for a long ass time. And they to the point where they have a very, very successful following. People coming after you. Coming after your kids. Just do what you want. But I wouldn't post anything about my family or my personal life or none of that. I'm telling y'all. Y'all can say what y'all want, but my shit would get so fucking dry, okay? It would be like the Sierra Desert in this month. But y'all would be like, damn, for your shit. Corny now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to get corny because I'm <laughs> going on here keeping it too motherfucking real with, with everybody. And people wasn't, like I said, don't have your best interest at heart. And what I also noticed about YouTube, the world is so motherfucking small. About 80% of the people who subscribe to me and subscribe to this person and then so forth and so forth and so forth. 
So, it's just food for thought. Just wanted to chit chat with y'all about that for a minute and let me know what y'all think. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much to all my subscribers. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you enjoy what you see and you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Um, hit me on my social media. I entertain more of my, um, honestly, more of my Instagram and my Facebook than I do my Twitter. Only because I can't remember my password for Twitter and I can't sign in for the life of me. So once I can figure out what the hell my signing is again, I'll be back on Twitter. But I'm going to be real with y'all. I never grind on Twitter like that because I, I never understood it. I, I see it, but it was like, what the hell? So I don't... I, mm, but I do have it and I do want to, you know, do it, like get on there more because I know people do follow me on there. And it ain't right to tell people to follow me and I ain't on it. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye.